Good afternoon, Resmi. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Resmi, can you tell me about yourself? Um, my name is Resmi Balivino Buenavista. I'm 25 years old. I am married, have one kid. Okay, Resmi, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I will work as a maid because I want to support my family I, and I want to earn money for the future of my daughter. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? <clears throat> because Malaysia is it's near in the Philippines and um, uh, it's the same, it has the same climate. How are you qualified for this job? I am qualified because I am hardworking trustworthy, polite, and um, and um, responsible. Resmi, may I know what your educational level is? Um, um, I am a high school level, a high school graduate. What was your recent working experience? Um, I had been experienced as a uh, maid before. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience taking care of infants? Yes, ma'am. How about children? Yes, ma'am. And whose children and infant are you taking care of? My, my... My, my baby, my child. Okay. Do you have experience taking care of elderly? No, ma'am, but I am willing to learn. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Like? Like cleaning, cooking. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together in the house? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook, Resmi? A Filipino foods, ma'am. How about other dishes? No, ma'am, but I am willing to learn. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Clean, ma'am. Cleaning. Cleaning. Yes, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, Resmi, who will take care of your kid? My mother and my husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Okay, instead, your employer will allow you to uh, call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude, your working attitude? I am, I am long patience, polite, loyal, trustworthy. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will assure that I, wor I will work hard and I will do my best, the best that I could to make them satisfied my work. 
Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends or any relatives without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of our agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? Yes, no, ma'am. Do you smoke, Rasmi? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in abroad? No, ma'am. Okay, Resmi, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Okay, upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what would you do? Um, I will inform to my employer properly if they will let me uh, approve to go home in case of emergency. If they will, they will not allow me to go home, then I will stay. I will continue my work until I finish my contract. Oh. Okay, Resmi, if ever your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Um, hi, Mom. I hope you choose me as a maid. I will assure you that I work hard. I will do my best, the best that I could, to make you satisfied my work. Okay, again, um, Resmi, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Um, my name is Resmi Baldivino Buenavista. I'm 25 years old. I am married, have one kid. I want to work in Malaysia because I want to uh, support my family. I want to ser ser save money for the future of my daughter. Okay, thank you very much, Resmi. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Thank you, Mom.